Hey, and welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be going over a math agent. This agent will give better responses and more accurate solutions to more complex math problems. The math agent is just a custom user proxy agent. It goes through a series of steps of better prompting, which is what allows it to solve these more complex problems, break them down, and then give better responses. There are essentially two different types of prompting that it uses to help. The first one is tool using prompt, which guides the LLM assistant to use Python code in the correct format to address the problem. And then we have the problem solving strategy selection prompt. And there are three steps to this, and it goes in order. So the first one is it tries to write a Python program to solve the problem directly. And if it doesn't think it can do that, then it tries to solve the problem with just the LLM's inherent reasoning capability. And if it doesn't think it can do that, then it tries to solve the problem step by step with Python code. When they did experimental results, they came up with four different ways to solve the problem. The first one being vanilla, just simply asking the LLM with its reasoning capabilities to solve the problem. And the match chat agent performed better than the other types of prompting in most categories. And if it didn't beat out the other categories of prompting, it came close in second. Algebra winning at 60% being far better than the other types of prompting. You can also use Wolfram Alpha's API calls to help you solve the problems with the math agent. Now let's see how we can use the math agent. Okay, so let's get started. We need two files. We need a main Python file and then that open AI config list JSON file. If we look at the open AI config list JSON file, all you need here is a model and an API key. And again, if you want to use a local open source LLM, you can also just add in here the base URL and then give it the HTTP URL from whichever software or library you're using. For instance, with LM Studio, you can use this URL. And then back at the main Python file, we don't need a lot of code here, so I'll just go through this quickly. First, we need the imports. And because we're using Autogen, and if you haven't installed it already, you'll just simply open up your terminal and you'll type pip install pi autogen. Once that's done installing, the next thing is the configuration. We're going to say config list equals autogen.configlist from JSON. And all we need is this open AI config list.json file that we just created. You can also say env or file equals this JSON file, but you don't necessarily need to explicitly say that. And then we need the LLM config for the assistant agent. And we give it a timeout of five minutes a seed, and then we give it the config list property. And then we need to create the agents. The first one is the assistant agent with a name, the system message that you are helpful assistant and the LLM config that we just created. This is the new agent. This is a custom agent. So it's called math user proxy agent. All we need here is a name. And for the human input mode, I'm going to put never because the math problems I'm about to show you as examples, I would have no idea how to help anyways. So I don't need to talk with the LLM. And then for the code execution configuration, just set use Docker to false. Unless you're using Docker, then go ahead and keep this as true. And then finally, for the first math problem that we're going to see as an example, something about an inequality and then express the answer in interval notation. All we need to say is math proxy agent dot initiate chat with the assistant. And then this is a new parameter just for the math proxy agent called problem where we give it the math problem. And now we can simply run it to see what it responds with. Okay. So what we see here is that it thought that it could use Python to solve the problem. So when we went back to the three step solution for prompting, it took the first one where it tries to use Python. Then after all the queries are run and you get the answer, put the answer in slash box. So whenever you see this, that means that basically we're terminating. Uh, they found the answer and they're going to send it back to us. The assistant gives a key idea with some Python code to solve the problem. And then you can see the slash boxed here, which means that everything in here is, I believe, the answer. And then the assistant gives the answer something about infinity, negative 14, and negative 3, positive infinity. This may be the correct answer. I don't really know. I'm just going to go with it and say that it is. Let's try another math problem. So in this math problem, I think this looks like a system of equations, and then we want to know what the value of x minus y is. So let's run this and see what it gives us. As you can see here, this time it also thought it could use Python to solve the problem. And then for the cases here, you can see that these are the three that I was talking about. If the problem can be solved with Python code directly, just write the program. If it's mostly reasoning, solve it yourself. If the first two cannot be done that way, then follow this process, which is a four step process. So now we have the problem. It writes Python code for us. So the math user proxy agent basically just executes that code, gets negative 48. And I guess X minus Y 
is now equal to negative 48. I'm also just gonna assume that's correct. I don't really know. Okay, please let me know if those math problems are correct or not, because I really don't know for sure. I am planning on making a video every day this month. I'm gonna do my very best to stick to that. This is day three. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the section below. Here are some more AutoGen videos for you to look at in the meantime. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.